Uh, I know. So I, I'm so convincing. <laughs> well, anything ha anything can happen in the basement of mine, and uh, what happens in the basement stays in the basement. Okay, yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Kayla Marie, and today I have Marie. Kayla Marie. I thought your last name was Smith. My last name is Smith. Oh, okay. I have like the most generic, generic <laughs> American name ever. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is uh, Muhammad. And uh, I've been living in Taipei for about 30 years. What I do for a living is I lure foreigners into my basement and I feed them food and I keep them down there. I've been here for a while. Right. I've been here for a while now. Haven't given you food yet, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but what is your real identity? Uh, my name's Johnny. I make videos on YouTube and lucky enough that I have been turning that into a job for the last seven years. I know I complain about my job a lot, but it's probably the best job I've ever had in my life, like honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the goal of life too, is to have a um, job that you're like, this is the best job I could have, right? Right. Uh, but it's not for everybody because you really have to dedicate so much into it and you literally have no life. So this is something that you're not afraid of. Yeah, you know, feel free to sign up, be a part of it. I think you're like low key trying to teach me something right now. No, <laughs> pretty high key about it. Pretty high key about <laughs> it. <laughs> yes. Okay. I want to actually, I'm very curious where your like English learning journey started because your English is really, really great. No, but I was watching HBO a lot. And then when HBO was no longer enough, I switched to, uh, what's that channel? BET. Then I switched to Netflix. And I love talking to people. I am definitely not the textbook kind of guy. Always that one person who goes to, say, basketball court after class and then just talk to people that way. But I <clears throat> was working at a restaurant in Oklahoma for about three plus years. I think that helps a lot because I, I have to talk to customers all the time. And I remember, uh, you know, because we, we make our livings based on tips. And I remember if I see a table of like family, <clears throat> whenever I bring the check over, I'm always like, I, I'll give that to the kid. I'll be like, you seem like the one who makes the most money from this family, so you pay for it. And oh. then, you know, parents will be like, ha ah. ha and the kid will be like, what? <laughs> and then and then when you break the ice, it's it's very easy to talk to everybody else. So I definitely practice a lot while dishing out plates. And Next question. Um, all right, next question. If you could live anywhere else in the world, where would you go live? Definitely English speaking country, just because uh, it would be easier for me to do what I want to do. But if I have to choose, I would say maybe Australia. Maybe Australia. In maybe. Australia? Have you been to Australia? I actually haven't because uh, every time when I try to go there, my friends were not available. Like I only go to countries where my friends are available for me so I can film. Mm -hmm. So that sort of limits my options for a little bit. So I've only been to a few countries in Europe, Russia, uh, the States, Malaysia, Hong Kong, China, Japan. Yeah, I guess I've never been to South Korea. So that's also kind of like a, you know, like I have to kind of thing. Just never have to. Yeah, someday. Right? Well, someday. That, that someday will be very, very f with the you know COVID thing. So yeah, yeah. That's that's okay. We're safe in Taiwan. We are. Maybe yeah. we're too safe. Wear your mask. Yeah, and and we kind of. Uh, it, it's crazy how we are so safe here, and then we forget about how chaotic on the other side. That's becoming mm -hmm. and um, one of my best friends who just lost her uh, family member because uh, they couldn't even take him to the hospital because the hospitals are all full for COVID. I was, I, was, I was with her the whole time so I knew like how 
the, the family member's uh, health sort of like decay. In Taiwan, you have to take him to the hospital to put anything to, to mm -hmm. make sure that, you know, but she told me that they couldn't because they wouldn't take him. Like that's something that we can't imagine now, but people on the other side are losing families because they can't even take them to hospitals. Um, okay, let me think of another question. Is that right to ask? Take it. Why have you never visited Jinmen? Because it's too far. It's not that far. It is far. It's one hour flight. Well, yeah, like from where? From Songshan. Oh, really? Yeah, Songshan oh, Airport. Sorry. I'm sorry. Gotcha. <laughs> well, okay, uh, my bad. Because, uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't even go to Hualien, Taidong. Yeah, well, okay, so knowing how close. How much is the flight ticket? Uh, my round trip was like 3,200, 3,000. That's why I haven't been back here for seven months because I, uh, I'm like stingy with my money. Yeah, no, you should be because uh, living on the budget, so. Exactly, I'm, I'm about that life. Yeah. But. I'm gonna take a quick pause. Okay. All right. What's up with the hat? <laughs> this is my hat. Does it say brave? It says brave. I bought it out of convenience, but yeah. I mean, I don't like to talk myself up too much, but yeah. you know, I don't know. I do some crazy shit from time to time. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> I, I learned that when we have the, the timeout yeah. 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Which I cannot tell you, but. No, let's just say they have a lot to learn. So, my last question yes. is What is your favorite quote and why? I don't remember the words exactly, but it's something like Oh, knowing what you do, or no matter how hard you try, will never be enough, but give it your best anyway. I, I think I saw this quote uh, in Oklahoma. Uh, at uh, someone's house, like it's a, uh, it's in one of those like picture thing, like a frame thing hanging on the wall. One of those like motivational posters. Yeah, and I walked past it, and I just saw it, and I was like, wow, it it, it fits. I, I totally believe in that. Like sometimes that you you will face so many difficult circumstances, and then you know that you're going to give it a hundred percent, or even hundred twenty and then it's still not enough but give it your best shot anyway because you want to be remembered by that to be that someone who always gives it a hundred percent rather than you know you half-ass your work and then you never get anything accomplished mm -hmm. i'm really happy that uh we get to sit down and talk because i don't do this so uh, i know so I, i'm so convincing <laughs> well, anything ha anything can happen in the basement of mine, and uh, what happens in the basement stays in the basement. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, if you don't see any more videos, <laughs> this is why I've never gotten out. Wow. Good grip. <laughs> Our interview is over, y'all. Thank you so much, Johnny, for talking to me. Are you like a bye bye type of person? No. I'll just be like. Peace. I'm just like looking down, like. What am I gonna eat later? Okay, all right then. Make sure you like, subscribe, and also leave a comment and tell me who do you think I might interview next? Trump. Oof. Anyways, all right, this is it. Peace out. Uh, it's done. Not yet, I have had the cops called on me one time though. Oh, uh, what'd you do? Um, I was... It was late at night and I wanted to go and listen to the ocean. And so I walked. What are you? I'm like from five. the 80s. <laughs> listen to